the narcissist who would be king. Also known as the mid-range narcissist that thinks he's a greater narcissist. I love to manipulate people. I'm a puppet master. I enjoy making people's lives a misery. I know how to get people to do what I want. That's what he said to me, HG. So comments a client or reader or listener to me as they recount what the narcissist has said to them. They continue with, he knows what he is, HG. He knows he manipulates. He must be a greater narcissist. It has become something of a slight joke, the number of people that approach me and say, HG, I'm an empathic supernova and I was entangled by a greater narcissist. I honestly think it ought to be printed on a t-shirt. Many people come along understand, thinking that they have been ensnared by a greater narcissist. It's invariably as a consequence of an honest mistake. And one of the reasons that they make this mistake, and there are several reasons for it, is that the narcissist has talked about having a love of manipulation, referring to themselves as a puppet master, that they say that they enjoy making people's lives a misery. And therefore, not unreasonably, the listening victim forms the conclusion, well, he evidently knows what he is. And according to your work, HG, if he knows what he is, he must then belong to being a greater narcissist. Wrong. This is actually a mid-range narcissist, and is usually middle mid-range A or B, or lower mid-range. First of all, why would such an assumption that this individual expressing such observations or words to that effect mean that he or she is not a greater narcissist. It's actually very simple. Let me turn to an actual greater, an upper greater narcissist, a dead one, to assist with the explanation. Margaret Thatcher, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, once said, Power is like being a lady. If you have to tell people you are, you aren't. If you are a greater or the ultra, you know that you are, and you don't have to go around saying as such. I, of course, tell you that I'm the ultra, but you don't know who I am. Therefore, it is not a transference of power. In my private life, the people that know me by one of my many names, I would never tell them that I am the ultra or a narcissistic psychopath. To do so would be the act of a moron, and that is not me. It would be the transference of power. Similarly, if an individual is a greater narcissist, they know that they are one, and they don't have to say as such, and they certainly do not go around claiming to be that, or stating that they are. It is giving the game away. It's a transference of power. And similarly, a greater, whether lower greater, middle greater, or upper greater, would not engage in such behavior. A greater is never going to admit it to someone. That's the behavior of a moron. A greater, or ultra in my case, being the step above greater, will never admit to a victim exactly what they are, because that amounts to a transference of power. And we just don't do that. I, of course, tell you what I am through my work, but you've no idea who I am in real life. There's no transference of power. Instead, you're provided with information, and that poses no problem to me whatsoever. Indeed, it's part of the growth of my legacy. Accordingly, a greater narcissist will not admit to being one. He or she won't admit to being a puppeteer, a master manipulator, a practitioner of the dark arts, etc. There's no need to do it, and there's every need not to do so. Secondly, the narcissist that claims to be a greater or describes themselves as behaving in a way equivalent to that will be mid-range. The lesser narcissist has no regard for any concept of manipulation at all. He or she just gets on with things, cruising through life, causing problems like the proverbial wrecking balls that they are. 
However, the increased cognitive function of the mid-range narcissist and the fact that he or she is a wannabe, the passive-aggressive weakling who wishes that he was more, means that he will claim to be the equivalent of a greater narcissist. He is not. He is a mid-range narcissist, and his insistence on being the greater emphasizes that he is a mid-range narcissist, because he cannot see what he actually is. Mid-range narcissists don't know what they are. He thinks he's a greater, but he's not. He's a mid-range narcissist, but he can't see it. Thirdly, listen to this individual, this man who would be king, has to say. Consider, what has he actually done? Consider, where is the independent evidence of his apparently villainous master manipulations? There isn't any. It's all tales, stories, recollections and his anecdotes. There'll be no evidence of him ever carrying out this ever carrying out any of the manipulations that he claims to have effected. There'll be no grand scheme that he executed, no master stroke, no incisive and far-reaching string-pulling of a series of agents, none whatsoever. Invite him to provide this evidence. I have done this where occasionally I've been consulted with by some of these mid-rangers who would be king, they soon trip themselves up and can't offer any independent verifiable evidence of what it is that they've done, because they never have. Watch when you ask them for this evidence. Invite them to provide the evidence, not his say-so, and watch how he deflects, projects, turns on the pity plays or sulks, thus underlining he isn't a greater. You'll hear such things as, I don't have to be accountable to you, I would tell you, but you wouldn't understand. You don't get people like me. You will have to take my word for it. Why do you always have to put me down? Oh, that's right. Cannot stand for me to be better than you. Always have to cut me down, don't you? These are the comments that are made by the mid-range narcissist. Because as you ask him to prove that he has been the puppeteer that he claims to be, he cannot. And instead, his mid-range narcissism will respond with the various manipulations that I've described earlier. The fact is this. The greater and the ultra don't speak about the manipulations in their real lives because they've no need for recognition of them, and every need to ensure that they are not directly connected to him or her. So any discussion, if this ever occurred, of them would be done anonymously. Most manipulators don't actually know that they manipulate. Those are the much more prevalent, less from mid-range narcissists, and those who claim to do so are gra demonstrating their grandiosity, and ultimately a failure to recognise what they are. The mealy-mouthed, walnut-bald, cowardly wannabe mid-range narcissist. Occasionally they come by my blog or my inbox. I find them laughably ridiculous. I keep their emails, their repeated attempts to control me by gaining my attention and approval, their fake pronouncements. I even investigated one who I knew was a middle mid-range narcissist and uncovered her real occupation and family status. She was a considerable distance from the web-weaving femme fatale that she claimed to be, richly entertaining. They are obvious, oblivious, and when you come across such individuals who boast and brag of their supposed prowess in this regard, be alert to their mid-range status and probe them, cross-examine them, and test them for actual evidence of their apparent puppeteering, and watch how they immediately exhibit their mid-range status in full view. Of course, they cannot see it. They are mid-range narcissists. They would be king but only in their minds. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.